Hi everyone, welcome to workshop six called Choosing Your Ending, Does It Make Sense and Why? My name is Jacqueline Snyder and this is my online course that is ending today on April the 8th. It's been wonderful having all of you here with me. And I've really enjoyed giving this course. It's been really inspirational and a lot of fun and I, I really love giving these online courses. I find that I learn just as much as everybody else does and uh, it just it furthers me in my career and I hope that it furthers all of you as well. So welcome back and we're talking about your character and the ending today. I wanted to talk to you a little more today about your main character and a couple elements about the character that are important to think about here and now when you're when you're organizing the the ending of your novel. Two things about your character. The first thing is, is that your character needs to appear as real as possible to your readers. And that means that they need to desire something. They need to desire to attain something. And this is what you make clear, definitely at the midpoint of your novel, but even at the first pivotal point. What your main character desires is on the surface of your novel. It is your premise. And it is what all your readers think your story is about. And if you were going to promote your book, this is what you would tell them it was about. And that's why I got you to write out your premises in the first workshop in this uh, online course because I think it's very important to have that very clear at the beginning. But this is only the surface of your novel. This is the desire. This is what your main character is openly uh, wanting to do. And an example of this is Luke Skywalker openly wanting to make sure that Princess Leia ends up being safe. He wants to rescue her. And that is what he talks about almost from the beginning of the movie right on to the midpoint when he does rescue her with Han and the Chewbacca. The premise of your novel gives your readers something to desire along with your main character. They want to see Princess Leia rescued as well. They want to see your main character carry out what the, the whole goal of the book uh, is. And so they become bound to the character and they become invested in the character, which is what you definitely want. But there's also something else that your main character needs to have, and it is a need. And the need is something that should not be obvious to the reader when they first start your novel. Not only you should be aware of as the author, and even your main character shouldn't be aware of their need until later on, uh, closer towards the pivotal point two of your novel, closer towards the end of the novel. And this is something that should come to them uh, as a source of potentially great pain or great struggle, depending on whether your novel is a drama or a comedy. But there has to be some pivotal point, some conflict, some revelation in, in one form or another that leads them to realize what their need is. I talk about that and I give the example of Luke and saying that his, his need that he realizes closer to the end of the movie is uh, being part of the rebellion and uh, saving the princess is only one part of his tie with the rebellion and he ends up becoming part of the rebellion, defeating the, the empire with the, by destroying the Death Star, but also this leads him on to his ultimate destiny, which we only have hints of in this first movie, but as we know, there went on to be six movies. Not all of them were, were directly about him, but ultimately he is implicated in all of them. He had a destiny, and George Lucas was very aware of that from the beginning of his movies. When creating the ending of your novel, I, I realized that endings can be problematic, uh, and people often change them and I think that's very normal and if that happens with you then uh, I don't think you should uh, fight it because what often happens when we organize our novels into acts and then into scenes and we can step back and see the larger picture of where our novels are going we realize that maybe you know some things need to be changed and they need to be altered and in doing so often either the ending or the beginning will change, or both, and that, that is really very common. I've asked you some questions in this week's assignment to, to get you thinking about you know, why your ending is the way it is, and what it needs to be like, and how it needs to keep your character consistent, and then I've gone on to give you uh, an assignment as well on looking through your ending, and uh, taking some very clear looks 
at the decisions that you've made and the decisions that you should be making. And once you take a really good look at your ending, you may decide that that you need to go back and, and rework Act 1, maybe just one or two scenes, maybe the pivotal point, maybe a bit of all of it. Um, in, in my book, after I, I did these exercises with the, the acts and the scenes, I realized that my main character wasn't sophisticated enough, uh, that for what I had her accomplishing at the end of my novel, uh, she simply wasn't old enough and her behavior wasn't uh, mature enough at the beginning of my novel and uh, I've had to go back and rework that and make her character more sophisticated and also develop uh, a very clear need into my novel which I hadn't really thought about right at the beginning but realized had to come in at the end. So I thank you all very much for taking this online course with me this time and uh, I I'm open and welcome to any of your comments, uh, any suggestions, any ideas that you may have for any online courses that I could do in the future and your feelings on the course that I gave you uh, this time. I hope it's, it's helped you all uh, clarify some things for you in your novels and move your novels along if you happen to be stuck. And uh, I really enjoyed bringing you the course. So thank you very much for being here for these six weeks. And uh, as usual, you can send me your answers to this assignment anytime during the next week when it's convenient for you. And I wish you all great luck with your novels. Thank you very much.